This is Lucy. In 1992, Lucy fled the civil war that ravaged her home in Sudan, Africa. When they were selling in town, in the town, huh? and at the moment, if it feels like this, it, it cuts everything that is around. I've seen a woman who was pregnant, and this particle just cut her into pieces. When she arrived in Kenya, she had nothing. No money, no friends, no job, no hope. Every day, thousands of refugees around the world live without any hope of providing for themselves and their families. Many of these refugees end up selling themselves or their children into slavery. In fact, over 800,000 people are trafficked each year around the world. Nearly half of those become prostitutes. By some estimates, 27 million people live as slaves today in 2013. These people face brutal conditions in rock quarries, fisheries, and garment factories. These men, women, and children are often victims of violent physical and sexual abuse. They work long hours for no pay and often under the false hope of freedom, someday. The numbers are big, but each of these numbers represents an individual life. Someone like Lucy, someone who is living without hope. After a few years of hopelessness, Lucy put her sewing skills to use, and along with a small group of women, began making items to sell for a fair price. Lucy didn't want a simple handout of rice every day. She wanted to provide for herself and for her family by working with her hands and in return receiving a fair wage for her craft, just as you and I do. This is what the fair trade movement is all about, providing jobs to widows, women rescued from prostitution, refugees, or those living on the outskirts of society because they have HIV. And in return for their craftsmanship, these individuals are paid fairly, and they have hope for a better tomorrow. You can help fight hopelessness. When you buy fair trade items, you bring hope to Lucy and individuals like her, both near and far. The International Fair Trade Expo has gathered vendors from all over the world whose artisans have made jewelry, handbags, scarves, and many other items. Items that you can give as gifts or use in your own home. Items made by the poor who now earn a living wage. Items that, with your purchase, will bring hope to those who made them. Many of these vendors also share the ultimate hope, the hope of the gospel of Jesus Christ, as they provide jobs to those without hope. So join us. Your spending can help fight hopelessness and save lives.